Hey again, everyone, Nick here at Used Bikes Direct, checking out this 2014 Electric Glide. Hop on the website, usedbikesdirect.com, to see those detailed photos and specs. Give us a call with any questions at 866 576 2453. Like I said, this is a 2014 model Harley Davidson Electric Glide. It's going to feature Harley's 103 cubic inch V twin engine in it, paired up, of course, to a 6 speed transmission. This one we're checking out today is 46,623 miles on it. As you see, it has a Reinhardt Racing exhaust, definitely gives it a nice aggressive tone. We'll give that a listen here in a minute. And the bike itself obviously has been customized. You see how low the back of it's sitting. Now, you do have some scuff scrapes and scratches along the way, some in the hardware and some in the paint itself. Now, obviously, guys, this is a black bike, so it is going to show everything like that. You're going to want to hop on the web so you can see all those detailed photos and take a look at the technician's report while you're there. Obviously, a little weathering is going to be in the hardware, but as we come up front, you're going to see all these little specs that are along the front end of it from, you know, bugs, rocks, things along those lines. Wheel itself, as well as the forks showing some wear. And as we come up top, I just want to show you in some of the hardware, like along the mirrors, where you're going to see those little touches of rust. As we paint around the front, you're going to notice in those plastics, like what I was talking about with those little marks along the way. And then as we get to the left side of the bike, it's more or less going to be a mirror image of what you saw on the right. A couple of touches of rust in some of the hardware here, some worn grips. You're also going to notice that that end cap is missing off that bar end. And while we're right here, I just want to show you where you're going to have some of that flaking going on up top. Right side mirror also has that crack in, a little chip missing out of it. Once again, you can hop on the web so you can see all those detailed shots. Obviously, you're going to have plenty of storage on it because you're going to have both your saddlebags and that top trunk, so you really can bring all of your gear with you. And as we go to climb up top, we'll go ahead and take a look at the controls and the display, and then we'll fire it up and give her a listen. First things first, we're going to start on the left-hand side where you have the usual headlight, left turn signal, and horn. Underneath that, you're also going to have those audio control toggles and your cruise control toggle. Sweep it on over to the right, you're going to have your kill switch, starter button, right turn signal, and your four-way emergency flashers with some addition menu controls as well. Now, as we flip this selector into the on position, the display itself is going to come to life. Of course, it's a combination of analog and digital. Analog gauges up top from left to right being for your fuel, speedometer, tack, and your battery voltage with that smaller digital screen for the odometer 46623 and the large touchscreen underneath for things like your radio and nav. Let's fire it up and listen how she sounds. <laughs> Alright guys, so be sure to find us on the web to see more at usedbikesdirect.com. Give us a call with any questions at 866-576-2453.